to Badass Witch Exclusive and River Queen Conjure. So this is a money magic ritual, okay? Uh, inside this candle, and the camera really doesn't do it justice. It's really beautiful and sparkly uh, with fairy dust, five finger grass, and some nice oils and some other herbs. Um, it's been dressed, it's been charged, it's been given a command, okay, to basically bring me the things that I desire, okay? And you, of course, can tailor, you know, whatever your petition is going to be for whatever you're programming this this candle for, these herbs, um, you know, whatever you're speaking over it, whatever you're speaking into the fire. Um, so basically, I have my, um, these are lodestones, magnetic, naturally magnetic lodestones that I do feed often okay and i feed them with these gold this gold magnetic sand and this silver magnetic sand silver and gold okay this is the five finger grass that i use to attract money and it's not the only herb that i use but that is a a powerful one okay um you know of course my buddhas because they bring me joy abundance love happiness and peace okay all of that is necessary for me to be able to manifest okay my phone had interrupted me so anyway i'm going to of course burn some ancestor money um i got some real money here and of course my cups are filled with my magic money ritual water that i created okay and my cups runneth over. Um, you know, you know that we do a ritual where our cups runneth over. Okay. So in this one, we're just gonna burn this money, which has already been given commands. Um, you know, we've already written petitions and requests on this ancestor money. So we want to watch it burn and to watch the petition go up as smoke into the realm of the ancestors. And, you know, let me make it clear that we are not worshiping our ancestors. Ancestor veneration is just about honoring your ancestors, the contributions that they made to your life, uh, the sacrifices that they made in order that you have the, you know, the gifts and the talents that you have, you know what I'm saying, that you are who you are. And so honoring your ancestors is not worshiping your ancestors and any deities or, um, you know, angelic or any other, any other spirits that you work with um, is not a, you know, a, a way of disrespecting um, the divine or disrespecting, quote unquote, God or the, you know, the great spirit, um, because we recognize that there is no separation between um, us, the great spirit, and any other spirit, that we are all one. And so whichever aspect uh, of that great spirit that we choose to call upon is indeed honoring the great spirit. And so let us not judge one another's practices and the ways in which that we work because we all have a different perception of the divine, okay? And so the way to, you know, be able to, um, you know, actually appreciate and fully appreciate um, every every other spiritual being and, you know, the gifts that we bring is to go in without judgment and without fear. And I think I feel that with a lot of religious people, they they have been taught to fear e even their own power. OK, so definitely they're going to fear other people's power. And um, it's a shame because that fear keeps you from knowing some really great spirits from learning some really great ways to use your own power it's it keeps you from being able to see the creator from different angles okay because religion kind of locks you down into seeing the creator from only one angle and um, you miss out on a lot you know what i'm saying and none of you know the knowledge and the wisdom that you are being um, that's being revealed to you is forbidden. It's only been forbidden by man because they wanted to keep it for themselves to keep themselves in positions of power and privilege, okay? And so um, this is why spiritualists such as myself have always been 
um, you know, demonized and um, criminalized um, because, you know, we are able to uh, co-create our own realities. And, um, you know, the powers that be don't like that. There are people who, you know, they, they get their whole sense of self-worth and value from how much control that they can exert over other people. And so, you know, when you've obviously taken control over yourself in your own life, um, it's it's going to be frowned upon by the masses, okay? But anyway, I just wanted to come in while I was doing my morning money ritual, you guys. I am going to come back later um, on River Queen Conjure. We are going to go live um, and talk about some things. Uh, if you haven't joined Oshun Aj Exclusive yet, I do suggest that you go in. I have been um, kind of holding back the Emerald Tablet book study, which we've already started, for everyone else to get on board because the classes going forward are going to be live premieres that are going to be in interactive okay so um, I will wait uh, another couple of days and then we are going to move forward with the rest of the lessons in the Emerald Tablet book study so if you uh, were thinking about joining okay and wanting to be caught up with everything um, definitely click the link in the description to patreon and join us on Oshun Aj exclusive if you're interested in joining the private no narc network join Oshun Aj exclusive uh, you can join that on either um, Oshun Aj exclusive or badass witch exclusive okay also you guys stay tuned for my newest website that's coming up and it is Olyle Shun uh, exclusive okay no no I'm sorry Olyleshun.com okay and Olyo is my other spirit name okay and so Olyle Shun is the name of one of my higher spirits okay so Olyleshun.com is going to um, offer a lot of different products and services that are geared specifically towards light workers empaths and star seeds okay so uh this is my money magic for uh this morning you guys it is good to do your money magic um on thursdays traditionally but i say do it whenever you're vibing high enough to feel that you are able to bring um your manifestations into the, the physical realm okay and so um until we meet again my people keep it classy keep it clean and do what you gotta do to make shit happen. Peace.